Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing a series review for the Year One Trilogy by Nora Roberts. And this is a trilogy that I talk about a lot on this channel. And for whatever reason, I have not like fully, I haven't done a review for any of the books in here. So I figured now that all the books are out and I've read them, I can do a official review of this series. So when I do talk about it, I can link this video up in the cards and you guys can go and check it out. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So basically, Basically the general synopsis of this trilogy is that it takes place in our world and there is this evil like kind of virus or like plague that gets unreleased through dark blood magic and this causes this causes like a mass pandemic throughout the world. It kills two thirds of the population of the earth within a matter of weeks and those who are immune to this like virus or disease are those who have some magic powers in them. So you can see how that can cause some kind of problems with people that are just trying to survive and all that so um, I will say that this trilogy really took me by surprise I don't think just judging by the synopsis I didn't think this was something that I would um, read or enjoy but this was actually the first book was gifted to me by my aunt for my birthday and I've read a few of Nora Roberts trilogies so it's like okay I'll give it a try and I was actually completely taken by surprise because this is definitely like a genre or kind of like a topic that I'm not really um like I tend to gravitate towards especially ones that kind of deal with like a plague or kind of like a like that sci-fi sense where it's like this disease just kills like a bunch of people um, I was really like like I said taken by surprise and what I liked about this is that it's very different from the other Nora Roberts like magic trilogies of hers that I've read I found with her magic or just her trilogies in general they're very formulaic it usually follows six people and they form three couples and each book follows one couple and it's very formulaic this one is very very different from that and I think that's what made me enjoy this so much because it was so unpredictable and just it was just a lot of fun and I really loved it and the first book is very much foundational in setting up the world. So the second book is where it really where it kind of takes off in terms of the magic um, aspect in here. Um, but essentially, the first book is very much setting up the stage for what will um, kind of happen there. So a lot of the stuff that happens in the first book is very integral to things that even happen in the third book. So everything is very much interconnected. The main like storyline in a sense is very much started in the second one but the first book is essential to understanding what's going on because everything is so tied and there's like prophecies and all this stuff so I really like I really enjoyed that and so if you're reading the first book and you're not sure like the second book was definitely my favorite I thought it was so good um, and what I really love about this series is the characters and I think that's where Nora Roberts does this book really like really well is kind of setting up these characters and especially because you get to follow these characters basically from the start of the plague over the course of like 20 years and you're getting to see them grow and um, just kind of change and kind of go th seeing what they've all been through during this time I thought was really fun and it's essentially a very interesting concept I feel like never everything going on with the coronavirus but I feel like it's interesting looking at like this mass like this mass pandemic and just I think that concept is very interesting and like what is like what would be picking up the pieces if like two-thirds of the population is just wiped out within a week I think that concept is very very interesting and especially now like it's it's definitely even though in the book it's very much magic related like here like I think it's very interesting because it can happen um, kind of the pandemics like we're like at least for the part now with the coronavirus we're not like burning bodies essentially like they were in like this stage but it's very interesting because it is something that is obviously relevant in our day and age or just everywhere basically and I really loved the themes between the light and dark and that's very much a kind of something that is talked about even in the first book and is especially relevant in the third one and how like the dark can sometimes feel like so overpowering and it just completely crushes you and like takes over you but the light is 
like what will win at the end like I thought that concept and like characters and based on their decisions like are light and dark and some people are morally gray and like in between and I really liked how I explored those aspects in there as well so that's it guys I hope you guys kind of liked this general series review um I kind of just highlighted some of the things that I really enjoyed about it and I definitely within like I think I'm hoping within like the next like couple years as I the plot and like some of the details slowly um, start to escape my memory I feel like I will do um, another like series marathon um, of this I that's how much I loved it so much so I might kind of coordinate that with my channel we'll see like I said that's years down the road so but I really enjoyed this series and I highly recommend that you guys pick this up um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you've read this trilogy or if you're interested in picking it up let me know in the comments below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.